This is Danny Winterston here with iUniversity Prep, and today we're going to take a look at downloading and running Google Hangouts. The first thing you want to do is click on your search bar and type in Google Chrome, and you should find an option somewhere along the way that says Chrome Browser dash Google. Click on that, and it will take you to a screen where you'll have a blue button that says Download Google Chrome. Click on Download Google Chrome, follow the on-screen instructions, and when you have Chrome installed, go ahead and launch your Chrome browser. Now I've launched a new Google browser, and in that Google browser we're going to go to the search bar and we're going to do a search for Hangouts. So you can just go ahead and type in Google Hangouts, and you're looking for a link that says www.google.com dash hangouts dash. So we're going to click on that link and there'll be this green button on the screen that says Get Hangouts. Go ahead and click on Get Hangouts. Select your device. For me, I'm clicking a computer. And when I click on that, I get this option that says Add. I'm going to go ahead and click Add. And after it adds the plugin, it should take you to a screen where you're going to log in. Now, I've already got the plugin installed, so if it doesn't launch automatically, what you can do is click on that button in the upper right-hand corner. It should add a little speech bubble with quotation marks in it in the upper right-hand corner. If you click on that button, it'll give you the option to sign in. Click the blue button that says sign in. You'll have to sign in using your Google Hangout account or your Google Mail account. And from there, you're going to click on this little bar right here that said New Hangout. And what you're going to want to do is type in the email address of the person that you're wanting to start the Hangout with. So type in their email address. You should be able to click Add, and you should be able to type that person a message. Now, the first time you start a Hangout with somebody, it's going to stay temporarily and a brand new hangout until that person decides to respond. Once they respond, it should go ahead and pop up on your window so long as you stay signed into Google Hangouts.